So welcome back to the sawmill, friends. Today's video is a giveaway sponsored by our friends at Blue Eddy. I'm gonna show you guys a power unit today that we're gonna be giving away in this video. So make sure you watch to the very end and I'll tell you guys how to enter. All right, friends, we're in my garage workshop. And before I tell you guys about the giveaway item today, which is a power unit by Blue Eddy, I wanted to show you these Blue Eddy power units are something that I use every day here at my business. This one is dedicated to the garage. As you can see, it's got cords coming out everywhere. This is for batteries for my GoPro cameras. This is for the radio system that we have here at my business. This is for my, uh, what is this for? Oh, okay, it's for my earphones right there. I'll wear a headset sometimes. This white one obviously is for my phone, which is a huge part of my business. And over here we have some plugins on the 110 side and those are for battery chargers on all the power tools that I use here. And if you guys are curious which model this is, it's the AC300 and you have the B300 right below it. This is a separate battery for this unit. There's no battery in this unit right here. The battery is inside this separate part and you can buy multiple of these and have as many batteries as you want power in that one unit right there. But this video is not about this unit. I just wanted to show you guys what I use here every day at my meal. So I've been on YouTube now since 2015. And at the end of every year, I've always tried to do a giveaway. I think one year I may have skipped it. And I'm not sure why, I probably forgot about it. But last year we did an ax and the year before we did a power unit. And this year we're gonna do another power unit. Let me show it to you guys, it's a nice one. All right, guys, there it is. This is probably the most expensive item we've ever did a giveaway on. This is made by Blue Eddy. It's a portable power unit. The model number is AC200L, and this is a brand new model that just came out. So before we go over the features of this power unit, friends, I think I'm gonna move it indoors down to the wood shop. The sun is setting behind me, and it's putting a glare on the screen, and the combination of that and this camera screen might make it hard for you guys to see all the features on it. All right, friends, that's a lot better. We can now see the screen on this unit. Now this is the AC200L by Blue Eddy. It offers an astonishing 2,048 watts offline 23,004 capacity with a powerful 2,400 watt output and a jaw dropping 3,600 watt surge capacity in power lifting mode. Now friends, based on the size of this unit, and it's not small by no means, but having a 3600 watt surge capacity in this size is pretty impressive. I've never seen one like that before. Now guys, one question I always get about these power units is how many times can I recharge them? How long will this last? Well, this is straight from the manufacturer, friends. This has a life PO4 lithium iron phosphate battery cells, ensuring over 3000 cycles with 80% capacity retention after 2500 full charge and discharge cycles. So that means friends, you can pretty much use this 3000 days in a row, if you wanna think about it that way, and it would last that long. How long is 3000 days? Let me do the math. 3,000 days turns out to be just over eight years. So if you use this unit for eight years and you charge it up and drain it every day, you'll get eight years of use out of it. I doubt any of us will use it every day for eight years. So that pretty much tells you right there, that unit's gonna last you a long time. The AC200L also features a smart display, 11 versatile output interfaces, multiple charging options, a Bluetooth app control, that's really nice because that does give you notifications when maintenance needs to be done. UPS mode and eco mode, making it the ultimate power solution for various scenarios from off-grid living and outdoor adventures 
to the most important, in my opinion, emergency backup and outdoor work. Now, when it comes to using these power units, they are stationed in all my workshops, but I do use them in outside situations. Let me show you yesterday how I was using this one to help me cut some firewood over here in the log yard. So another use for the power unit guys is with my firewood kit. We're down here cutting firewood today. And in the back of the tractor, I got my chainsaw, my oil and my fuel and my marker. And right there is my power station and it serves two purposes down here. It keeps my batteries charged on my cameras and more importantly, keeps that phone charged right there. I always throw it in the back of the tractor. It's always with me. So this unit also enables you the, uh, the opportunity to add battery units for more wattage. Now you saw earlier when I was showing my Blue Eddy in the garage and how the battery was on the bottom, you can buy those external batteries or extra batteries, whatever you want to call them, and hook them up to this unit so you can have multiple batteries in addition to the battery inside this unit. And in reference to what I just said, friends, this is straight from the manufacturer. This offers flexibility expanding with options such as the B300, B210, and B230 expansion batteries. For instance, connecting up to two B300 units extends the capacity from 372 to a whopping 8192 WH. That is watts, in case you're not sure what that is. Similarly, connecting up to two B210 units increases capacity from 2150 watts to 6,348 watts and connecting one B230 extends the capacity from 2,048 watts to 4,096 watts. This flexibility allows users to select their ideal capacity based on their specific power needs. So having said all that, the best way for me to explain that without reading off all those numbers to you is you can add batteries to this unit. This has an internal battery. You can add additional batteries, just like the one I showed earlier up in the garage, that battery that was by itself. You can buy those and hook this to this unit to have more battery outage and also increase your wattage. I hope that made sense to you guys. If it does, leave me a comment below and I'll try to uh, explain it a little bit better. Real briefly, let's go over the front of this unit. So right there, we have the on and off switch. Here's our screen display. Right now, the, the uh, charge is at 96%. That's how much battery life we have. And on the output, we have 13 watts going to my cell phone right there. So you can always see your output. And that's the DC, the direct current, which is on the top and bottom. That's the input for direct current. Over here on the other side is alternate current input and output. We got three buttons right here. You got DC, USB, and I'll turn it on. You got the AC button right there. That's for your alternate current and your direct current. And of course, USB right there in the middle. Now this power unit does require you to turn on each port. So you got AC right there and that controls those outlets right there. And those are 110 outlets that you would find in a house pretty much the same thing. So you have to turn on that button to put power to those ports right there. That's standard in most power units right there. Those are dust covers that go over them. I usually take these off and get rid of them, although it's probably not ideal, but sometimes I think they just get in my way. Here we have a USB-C right there on this side. In the middle, we have our regular USB outlets. That's what the cell phone is hooked to. And over here we have a USB-C, 100 watt as well on that side. This one and this one are both the same. I have a phone cord that plugs into those. It works really good. And this one I turned off again. So uh, get the direct current going again to the phone. So over here on this side, we have DC output. We have a 10 amp right there on the bottom. And then above it, we have another DC output. And this right here is similar to a cigarette lighter that you would find in a car. Then over here on the other side, we have all of our AC outlets. We got four of those right there. They're all the same. Then over here on the side, we have a large one. And this one is four. Let me read the rating so I'll tell you guys the right size. It's for 30 amps, 125 volts, recreational vehicle use only. A very handy outlet right there to have, especially 
if you're using this for portable power at a campsite or maybe you're on vacation in your camper, you need to plug up some high voltage stuff or stuff that requires more amperage sounds a lot better. Very good to have. The older power units didn't have these. This is a newer feature that you'll find on the Blue Eddies. Works really good. I'm glad they put that on there. So over here on the side, friends, you got some very important features. This is your circuit protector. This is pretty much like a breaker in a panel. And this will pop if it starts pulling too many amps from the battery. This protects your unit and your tool. And you will find, friends, you'll probably get kind of anxious when using this with a lot of different tools sometimes. And you will pop this from time to time. It's no big deal. You just kind of unplug one of your tools and do the reset. Right here above it is our connector. If we want to put another battery on here, like we talked about earlier, that's where that would go. Down here on the bottom left is your AC input. So when you charge this up, you put your cord in it right here and plug it into a wall outlet. And that's how you charge it up. Right, it's one of the way you charge it up. And right here above it, you have your DC input for charging as well. Before I tell you guys how you can win this power unit, there's one test I like to do on all my power units, and that is the miter saw test. As far as 110 tools go in this shop, the miter saw pulls, I think around 15 amps, but it has a surge when it first starts and it pulls about 20, and it goes down to about 15. And if the power unit can run that miter saw, it's always a good day right there. I've had a few fail up in the past though. The Blue Eddies have always been able to do it though. So hopefully today will be no different than the other ones. Here we go. This is the largest miter saw to my knowledge that DeWalt mates. Right there is the saw. Here is the cord coming out of the saw right there, going directly in to the Blue Eddy. And I think I'll try to set up two cameras or maybe do two different shots so you guys can see the unit working right there and making the cut, hopefully. And also seeing the screen showing the output on the watts right there. I'll be curious to see the output this miter saw gives off because we have it plugged into a regular outlet right here. Nothing fancy, let's see if it holds up. Well, start it up. Let's see if we can make a cut with it. What do you guys think it happened? I think we'll be in good shape. All right, friends, this time we're gonna set the camera up on the unit. On the right side of the screen is the alternate current output. That's what we're running today is the AC powered machine. And we should see the wattage displayed right there on the bottom. I'm not sure what kind of wattage that this miter saw will pull from this unit. This might be interesting. All right, friends, that registered right around 2,500 watts. The surge protector on that power unit is 3,600 watts. So we was well within reason as far as the output capabilities of that unit. I do believe though, if I had like an eight quarter piece of oak on there or maybe a four by four, it would probably call for more wattage, but I don't think it would reach 3600 though, so that's good. And that tells you a lot about that power unit. If you can carry around a power unit to different workstations and it's strong enough to power a miter saw, as far as a construction site goes, you're gonna be covered if you don't have power around. So that's a good thing to have right there. That's always my main test with these power units is whether or not it can power up a miter saw. So to enter the giveaway, friends, all you gotta do is go down the comment section and type Blue Eddy. And if you can't spell it, I'll put it right here. And if you're gonna put a regular comment about the video or ask a question, just put Blue Eddy somewhere in that comment. That way we know you're entering the giveaway. So there's two rules to the giveaway, friends. Number one, you guys have already done it. You've typed Blue Eddy down in the comments. And number two, you have to live in the United States. So that's the rules that Blue Eddy gave out. And that's what we gotta go by today so we can get this video done for you guys. And also guys, Blue Eddie has given me a $100 discount code to share with you guys only for the unit that we showed in today's video. The code is Woods200i and that code is valid from November the 17th of this year and it ends on November the 30th. So if you wanna buy this unit and you really like this video and you wanna have one of these for yourself and not wait on the giveaway results, 
go buy one and use that code and get yourself a hundred dollars off. All right, guys, one more thing here as far as the giveaway goes, I will pick a winner within three to five days of this video posting. I'll use a random comment picker, then I'll send that information to Blue Eddie and they'll ship out the unit to the winner. As far as the winner goes, come back in a few days or if you have notifications on, check your comment and I will respond to the winner and I'll tell them to email me. And after they email me, I'm gonna give them a number to call and we're gonna talk over the phone. That way they can ensure that they are the winner. Because if you get an email from somebody saying I'm from Blue Eddie or I'm Nathan from out of the woods and you've won, but I need money for shipping or something like that, it's a scam. Don't fall for it. The only person that's gonna win is gonna know because I'm gonna to talk to them on the phone. So know that. If somebody emails you and they just want you to send them money, there's no money involved in this. This give away does not cost you anything. It's totally paid for by Blue Eddie and my production skills here by making this video. So there's no cost on your end. And once again, thanks to Blue Eddie for sponsoring this video.